Okay, in this video, we will go over vectors. So we want to find the vector which represents moving from the point P parentheses negative 5 comma 2 to the point Q, which is 4 comma negative 4. So it's moving from this point and it's going to this point. And so in order to solve this problem, we do our end point. This is the uh, end, and this is the starting. So we say end minus start. So 4 minus parentheses minus 5 comma then we do the y-axis essentially so negative 4 minus parentheses 2 and so the vector would be this 4 minus minus 5 is 9 comma negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 and so this is our final answer next problem is find the vector which represents moving from the point p parentheses 3 comma 7 comma negative 2 to the point Q, which is 5, comma, 1, comma, negative 3. It's the same thing as this problem. Instead, now we have like a z-axis. And so we go from end to start to get the uh, vector. So it's going to be 5 minus 3, comma, 1 minus 7, comma, negative 3 minus parentheses minus 2. So 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 7 is negative 6 negative 3 minus minus 2, so negative 3 plus 2 is going to be negative 1. And so this is the uh, final answer. The last one is if the vector x is equal to negative 4 comma negative 7, then what angle between 0 and 360 degrees does vector x make with the positive x-axis? So we know we're at from negative 4 negative 7 so we're in quadrant 3 so negative 4 and then down negative 7 and so we want to find this angle right here from here all the way to here um, if we say 10 inverse 7 over 4 but 10 inverse only gives angles between quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 it only goes from pi 2 to negative pi 2 so if we were to hit 10 inverse 7 over 4 um, it would only go from negative pi 2 to positive pi 2 and so that would be about negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees but for our actual angle we know it's going to be like this it's going to be greater than 90 degrees and so what we need to say is we first do tan inverse 7 over 4 and we, when we do this in the calculator we would get 60.3 degrees but 60.3 degrees is essentially this angle right here. What we have, it goes from here all the way to here. So we say 180 plus 60.3, and so the final answer would be 240.3 degrees. Because if you think about it, if I was to type tan inverse uh, negative 7 divided by negative 4, that's the same thing as tan inverse 7 over 4. So the only way to actually get the um, actual angle is to actually think about it a little bit. So we know we're in quadrant three, and that's why we're gonna add 180 degrees plus this.